Hello everyone, today I am going to explain you about this uh, flower pattern. This is in 3D flower pattern. It is in single shuttle pattern. So it will be very easy for us to tat. I came across this pattern from Pinterest. So let me explain this pattern first. It contains 5 rings. And also I have added um, yellow thread for pollen so it will be much more realistic so let me first explain you the pattern and uh, I'll show you how to tat so for the first string we have to start with uh, six double stitches one pico six double stitches one pico twelve double stitches one pico six double stitches one pico then finish it off with another six double stitches then we have to close the first ring for the second ring six double stitches we have to join the second ring with the first ring then again six double stitches then again we are joining the second ring with the first ring then 12 double stitches one pico six double stitches one pico then six double stitches then we are closing the second ring all five rings contains the same count so I have loaded my shuttle with thread so let us start with the first ring we are going to make six double stitches in the beginning one two three four five and six now I have done six double stitches next I'm going to do one pico I've done one pico six double stitches one pico now I'm going to do six double stitches again one two three four five and six I've done six double stitches now I'm going to do one pico I'm doing very small pico so that the all the rings stays very close so for the first string I have tatted six double stitches one pico six double stitches one pico now for the top part of the ring I'm going to do 12 double stitches we are going to do this part now so 12 double stitches so I have done 12 double stitches now again I'm going to do one pico so I have to do one pico now again I'm going to do six double stitches as you can see the top part of the ring is finished now again the side portion has to be done so again six double stitches one pico then six double stitches has to be done now six double stitches are done now I'm going to do one pico now 
now again I'm going to do six double stitches now all the stitches of the first ring is finished now I'm going to close the first ring so this is the first ring of the flower now I'm going to start the second ring very close to the first ring now I'm doing the second ring six double stitches six double stitches one two three four five and six now I'm joining the second ring with the first ring making tiny picots are uh, very much important so that each ring stays close with the other ring so now I'm going to do six double stitches one two three four five and six so I have done another six double stitches now I'm going to join the second ring with the first ring now I'm joining the second ring with the first ring So I have joined the second ring with the first ring. Now I am going to do the top portion of the ring which is uh, 12 double stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve now I've done twelve double stitches now I'm going to do one pico one pico is done now I'm going to do six double stitches one two three four five six six double stitches and again one more pico So I have done another pico now I'm going to do six more double stitches one two three four five and six so I've done all the stitches for the second ring six double stitches then I have joined the second ring with the first ring then six double stitches again I have joined the second ring with the first ring then 12 double stitches one pico six double stitches one pico then again six double stitches now I'm going to close the second ring as well
so we have done two rings for the flower so now I'm going to do the third one now I'm going to do the third ring I'll show you the counts one more time Now I'm going to do six double stitches. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now I'm going to join the third ring with the second ring. Okay, I'm going to do six double stitches. Now again, I'm going to join the third ring with the second one. So all the counts are the same. I've done the third and fourth ring as well. Now for the fifth ring, I've joined the fifth ring with the fourth ring and I've uh, done 12 double stitches. Now we are going to join the fifth ring with the first ring. I'm holding all the rings together and making it closer so that it will be easy for joining the fifth ring with the first ring this is the tricky part in this pattern So uh, now I, I have uh, joined the fifth ring with the first ring. I'm going to do six double stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now I've I have done six double stitches now again I'm going to join the fifth ring with the first ring So again I'm going to do six more double stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So all the stitches for this pattern is done. Now I'm going to close the fifth ring. holding it tight yeah I have closed the fifth ring as well you can see the shape of the flower making the picos smaller is much more important because uh, this each ring stays closer with the other now I'm going to put a knot
I have tied two knots. So our flower is ready. Now we are going to do the pollen. You can even uh, use the artificial pollen which are available in the market. I have taken uh, yellow thread for the pollen. I'm making two knots in the end of the thread So I've cut according to the length So I'm going to take 5 strands of thread for the pollen I'm making a really uh, strong knot So I have done uh, five, so I have knotted five threads, five strands of threads. So I have taken uh, unequal length so that it will look nice. After arranging them, I'm just gluing them with the uh, fabric glue. I applied a little amount of glue and uh, I'm sticking all together. I'm going to attach this uh, pollens through the center of the flower. Artificial pollen will also look good. So our 3D flower pattern is done. So I have stuck this pollen from the outside of the flower. This is a single shuttle flower pattern so it will be very easy for everyone to tat and uh, just try this pattern and let me know in the comments below and also I have uh, decided to post my videos in English so it will be very easy for everyone to follow my tutorials and hopefully I will be posting videos regularly from now on. I'm so sorry for uh, taking a very long break. It has been uh, three long years uh, since I started my channel. I'm so sorry for that. 
and uh, i'll be trying to post my videos regularly from now on thank you try this pattern and let me know in the comments and uh, merry christmas everyone